So I leave for one weekend, and this is what happens to Standard. Uh, this is pretty strange. Uh, a couple of big events took place over the weekend, uh, namely the Standard Mocks, also the first regional PTQ on Magic Online. And this deck just started popping up. I'm not sure exactly what the origin story is of this deck, I just know where I've seen it, and well, let me fact check real quick. Peter's Kyle, maybe Peter S. Kyle, was first place in the RPTQ with Mono Blue Eldrazi, and then Ben White's used a similar deck the next day to get 13th in the Mox. So apparently this is a thing now. Uh, Ghost Fire Blade, bunch of colorless creatures. Uh, some flyers, Dimensional Infiltrator, Eldrazi Sky Spawner, some ways to make your creatures unblockable in Whirler Rogue and Rogue's Passage, uh, Tomb of the Spirit Dragon to help you win races, and obviously things like Rally Smash at the top end. So, this stuff is not going away, apparently. Uh, these cards are all quite good. So, yeah, apparently this is a thing now. Just a pile of, I don't know, I guess mostly unplayable garbage, but uh, this deck does look very similar to the Thopter deck from last season that, that kind of took Pro Tour Origins by storm, and I played a little bit with it so far, uh, did a little tuning, not much. There's there's a lot of work to do, I think, in order to get this deck to be where it has to be. Uh, so Ben White's changed a few things for the Mox list. He had a fourth Ruination Guide, no Stubborn Denials, another Spatial Contortion main deck, and uh, people people's mana bases are a little bit different. I think Four Foundry of the Consoles is pretty much a given, especially with how good it is with Ghost Fire Blade. Uh, Tomb of the Spirit Dragon is another big one that's mostly a four of, but then there are things like Rogue's Passage and Ruins of Oran Reef, uh, which I think are also pretty good. And there's just a lot of good options for Colorless Lands. Like Seagate Wreckage is another one that I had in my deck for a little bit, but I never actually activated it. So, uh, Hedron Crawler is another potential. Inclusion. It is not very aggressive, uh, certainly not as aggressive as Eldrazi Mimic, but it is pretty nice at accelerating into your reality smashers and whatnot. Uh, so it all just depends on, on how you want to do things, but uh, I've not played with the Mimics yet. I'm going to do that. Uh, Hangerback Walker is obviously a card that could fit in this deck as well, seeing as how it's, it's colorless, it you know, fits the theme. Uh, when, when Hangerback Walker dies, it's really good with Ruination Guide. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, you could also play things like Sidisi's Faithful to sacrifice the Hangerback Walker and get a little tempo. Uh, so yeah, this deck is a thing, apparently. Basically, Whirler Rogue is busted. That, that's all I've really learned from this. So uh, that is sweet. There are also some blue-red versions popping up. Not sure I feel about those. Uh, this, this deck's mana base is pretty clean. And the red cards are like, eh, you know, Vile Aggregate, stuff like that. Uh... Sideboard is mostly just some counter spells, some dispels, some disdainful strokes. Uh, in case and ice, mostly for Manus, Ra Manus Rider and Thunderbreak Regent. Uh, Stratus Dancer against Ramp and various control decks. Uh, it might seem weird to not have Fourth Thought Seer's main deck, but it is kind of slow and it's much worse in standard than it is in something like modern, where modern decks might have like you know six to eight removal spells and standard control decks have something like twelve or whatever. So Thought Seer just kind of dies. Uh, it's expensive, it also just gets outclassed by things like Sea Drino, and uh, there are curve considerations, you know, like the deck only has 7 3s and 7 4s, and without things like Hedron Crawler, I don't think I want to overload on 4 drops, so Thought Not Seer is a card that's mostly in the sideboard for ramp decks. Uh, more Spatial Contortions, uh, basically your only answer against Jace, uh, another answer to Manus Rider, and Mana Reshaper against control decks and things like Atarka Red, they're going to try and burn your little dudes and get in for some damages, so... Uh, yeah. Deck's been performing pretty well online, both uh, in my hands, in the hands of other people, so uh, this, sh this should be fun. We'll see how it goes.